Hello and welcome to this new video where I'll show you some of the new stuff in version 1.7 of the Korg engine. Um, to start things off, uh, here's the new level selection menu. Really basic stuff, uh, basic GUI buttons with images. Well, I think it does the trick and um, it should get you started if you want to have your own uh, level selection screen. Um, so well, let's uh, select this level. It's one of the new levels. Uh, I created this one because um, some people have complained um, on forums and stuff that uh, the Kogi engine uh, could only allow you to create a game similar to the uh, Corgi game uh, that is featured in the, the demo levels. I don't think that's true. Um, I think uh, that the engine can be overrided and um, to implement any kind of uh, platformer gameplay. Um, so yeah, to, to showcase that, I've created this level. Uh, it's obviously a complete ripoff uh, of uh, Super Mario's first level. Uh, as you can see, you can you know uh, jump on stuff, as you can in uh, in Nintendo's game. Uh, if you pick up mushrooms, you get bigger. Uh, if you get hit by uh, this little guys you get smaller and you have to uh, you know uh, survive and if you get hit again you die like in the mario games um i've also added uh, a new pause menu will allow you to you know go back to uh, level selection and stuff and uh, lately i've been playing a lot of bro force uh, so i wanted to know if the engine could you know help me create a game like that too. Uh, so I created this uh, small demo level using mostly uh, older sets but also some new ones uh, and as you can see well it's more or less uh, the Bro Force gameplay you get enemies you can shoot at them and you can shoot at the level itself and destroy it uh, to make you your own way uh, through it. So um, yeah I think um, the Corgi engine is the right engine if you have a platformer in mind. Um, I think you could go for something like Super Meat Boy, Mario, uh, Risk of Rain, um, a lot of you know platformer games. Really, uh, really, the only limit is your imagination. So yeah, you might be wondering how do I do that? How I do? How do I um, take the Kogi engine and create my own game, my own gameplay uh, from that? Um, so, as you'll see, it's very basic. Uh, here I have uh, the hipster level Super Mario stuff um, open uh, in Unity. If I uh, if I go to uh, my list of playable characters, you'll see uh, some familiar ones and um, this new guy. Um, as you can see in the inspector right uh, right here, um, it's basically the same prefab as the other characters. It has um, it has a sprite renderer, animator, box collider 2D, rigid body 2D, Corgi controller, controller script um, with some tweaked uh, values here, and it doesn't have a character behavior. What it does have instead is a Super Hipster Bros character script. Um, and if we open that, uh, we'll see that this script extends character behavior. So it's basically a character behavior with stuff added to it. Um, for example, uh, there's a new grow method and a shrink method. Uh, what these two methods do is that they change the scale of the character when it takes um, a mushroom in this case um, and you can also reset the scale. These are methods I added because I needed them for my Mario-like gameplay um, but there was also um, exist existing stuff I wanted to change for example uh, when my character takes damage I wanted him uh, to shrink or um, you know to have a different behavior so um, this take damage function already exists in character behavior so I overrided it um, and now it does what it used to do but it also you know um, shrinks the player 
that uh, this part here. And uh, I also changed the behavior uh, that happened when uh, the character died. So I changed, I override the kill method, um, and now it gets uh, sent in the air in a different way. Um, so basically, all the methods, all the methods in the engine are um, overridable. So you can redefine whatever you don't like, and as you can see, it's extremely simple to do that. Um, I hope you'll not, you'll like this new version. It should be out uh, before the end of uh, October. See you soon.